हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑर्गेनाइजर एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर हाउ टू मूव ए लोकल ऑब्जेक्ट इनटू आवर ओन पैकेज एंड देन इन द ट्रांसपोर्ट रिक्वेस्ट वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इफ बाय मिस्टेक यू सेव्ड सम ऑब्जेक्ट एज लोकल देन वी हैव ए प्रोविजन to change the package we can we can save that local object into our own package and then in the transport request before we go for the theory part i will go for the practical part directly because once the practical will be over this theory will automatically make a sense now what we will do suppose we will take a requirement from the customer suppose customer is saying he or she want a employee table of two columns employee id employee name now we all know that we will do the development in the development system then that particular table will go to quality with the help of transport request and that table will go to production system which will be delivered to the customer but everything this object will go to other systems with the help of transport request only so what we will do firstly we will create that table then we will come on to the conclusion so i will go to sc11 transaction code and we will create a table we all know table has two columns it means we need to create two domains two data elements one domain for employee id one domain for employee name similarly we need to create one data element for employee id one data element for employee name so we will go for the process i will choose the radio button domain i will give some name to the domain suppose zd employee id i am creating a domain for employee id i will go for create now i will give the short description employee id suppose employee id is numeric 10 now i will go for save suppose while saving rather than storing into our own package we saved it as local object so our domain is a local object as of now i will go for activation of the domain i will note down this domain so that we can use so this domain is a local object similarly i will create another domain for employee name we'll go for create employee name suppose employee name is character 40 i will go for save suppose this domain also we saved it as local so if we all know that dollar tmp is the package for the local objects dollar tmp suppose i am saving it as local so this second domain is also local is a local object so i will just note down this domain also now we will go for the creation of two data elements so we will choose the third radio button and we will create the data element now i'll just give de de stands for data element i'll just wait i think system is slow so we created two domains both domains are local object now we will go for data element 
data element employee id we will pass that domain which we created I will copy that domain and pass. Numeric 10 appear. We will go for field label. Suppose employee ID. I will go for full employee ID. We will save this data element. Suppose this domain also we saved it as local. I will activate the data element. Suppose this data element also saved as local. Now I'm creating another data element for employee name. We'll go for create data element. Employee name. We will pass that domain which we created for employee name. Character 40 appear, we will put the field label. Suppose employee name. Employee name. Now we will save the data element. Suppose this a data element also saved as local. I will activate the data element. So we created two domains, two data elements, but every object is local as of now. Local means it is dedicated to this system only. It is available in this system only because we all know local objects can never, never be transported. Now we will create a table. So I'll just note down these data elements so that I can use in that table. Now we will create table. Suppose Z tab employee. We'll go for create. Now short description. Suppose employee table. I will put the delivery class. Suppose it is master data. This table will store the master data. Display maintenance allowed. We'll go for fields. We all know M A and D T is the first column in the table. Data element is M A and D T. Suppose E I D name of the column is E I D. I will put the data element of the employee I D. Employee name. Suppose E name. I will put the data element of the employee. Name. I will take employee ID as the primary key of the table. Now we will go for save. Suppose while saving, I save this table into my own package. This is the package. Now we will go for save. System will ask for transport request. Yes, if you have a existing transport request available, you can click on to own request and use. Suppose we will create a new transport request. Suppose we will give that development ID. Suppose this is development six. Able to store the employee data. We should always, always provide the meaningful description. We'll go for save. System will generate a new transport request number. Similarly, this request you can create through SC09 or SC10 also. It's your wish how you want to go. I will go for own request. I will choose this request. 
So our table stored into that particular transport request. I will go for technical settings. We will put the data class. Suppose AWPL0, which is for master data, will go for size category. We will save. Now we will simply, simply activate the table. So now I will go to SC09 and show you now. I will go to SC09. I will go for display. Now our table, our table is the part of this transport request. Just think what we will do. We will simply release the transport request. We will drop a mail to basis person. Please import this request into quality system so that functional can do the testing. But whenever this request will go to quality system, basis person will not be able to import it successfully. He will get the syntax error. He or she will get the syntax error. And they will simply, simply tell that in this table, you are using domain and data elements, but those are local objects. See, you created that table, but we at that point of time, what we did, we simply created that table and we use that data elements. Data elements has the domains. So whenever this table will go to the quality system, these data elements are unknown there. In these data elements, we have the domains. Domains are unknown there because we saved those domain and data elements as local object. They are available in this system only. They are not the part of our own package and transport request. So this table, this table is only, only the part of the transport request. This table only rest domain and data elements are local. So this request will simply, simply go into a error state. And this is the mistake. Yes, many times we did this mistake. So we must be very sure that it should not be the case that you are going for something and that you are using something into a particular object, but that object is local at all. So ultimately, whenever that request will go to other system, it will go into a syntax error. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we covered that whenever we took one requirement. We created the table based upon that requirement. But what we did, we saved the table into the transport request and our own package. But whatever the domains and data elements we created, those are local objects and we are using into our own table. So whenever we will release this transport request, and ask the basis person to import, the request will go into a error state. Now, in the next video, we will see how if some object you saved as local, how you can move that object to your own package and transport request. And this is our topic. That's why I told you when we will firstly start with the practical part, then automatically we will come on to the conclusion. In the next video, we will see how we can move these local objects into the package and transport request. So that's it in this video. Thank you.